Start by pressing Shift A, go to Mesh, and select UV Sphere. This sphere will be the surface we'll wrap our text around. Make sure it's centered in your scene for easy alignment later on. Next, press Shift A again and add a text object. Rotate it to face the sphere, then move it close to the front of the sphere. Try to place it slightly above the surface without touching it. Now right-click the text and choose Convert to Mesh so we can edit it as geometry. Switch to Edit Mode and press A to select everything. Then press E to extrude the text along its normals to give it some thickness. This step is important to make the text visible in 3D. Now in Object Mode, add a Remesh modifier. Set it to Sharp, increase the Octree Depth to 7 for higher resolution, and uncheck Remove Disconnected to preserve individual letters. Apply the modifier when ready. This helps create clean, uniform geometry for better shrink wrapping. Go into Edit Mode again, switch to Face Select Mode, and press Shift-Z to enter X-Ray Mode. Select only the back faces and keep the front faces unselected, as we only want to delete the back. Press X and choose Delete Faces. This ensures there won't be overlapping geometry when we project the text onto the sphere. Back in Object Mode, add a Shrink Wrap modifier. Set the wrap method to project, enable positive and negative directions, and choose Z-axis as the projection direction. Check above surface to keep the text on top of the sphere. Adjust the offset value slightly to lift the text off the surface just a bit for a clean appearance. If your text looks a bit blocky, try adding a subdivision surface modifier to the object. You can now adjust the material, lighting, and camera to make the final result pop. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.